we look at uh, the case of lenses now so as i have given you the concept of lenses previously also saying about uh, how a glass plate can be converted into a mirror a plain mirror a curved mirror or a lens something like so whenever you have a glass plate you can grind the glass plate such that you have one surface flat the other surface bulged so this gives rise to the plano convex lens i said plano convex here this surface is plain and this is bulged so plano convex unlike that if both the surfaces i make such that both the surfaces are bulged over here then you call it as biconvex or double convex so both the sides it is bulged similarly when you make when you grind the glass plate such a way that if it is flattened at the middle then you call it as plano concave plano concave plano concave and unlike that if it is flattened at the middle on both sides then you call it as double concave here it is called as double concave double concave and now our discussion here restricted to look at the biconvex and double con double concave that is biconcave so we'll just look at how the images are formed due to this about this also you can think of that's somewhat a higher concept and as and uh, our syllabus permits we'll just look at what is biconvex and biconcave so we'll look at image formation due to the convex lens first see here in case of the convex lens both the sides are transparent whereas in case of the mirrors one is transparent the other one is bulged but in case of the convex lens here both the sides are transparent that means here this surface is transparent as well as the other surface is also transparent and you need to remember one point here whenever you extend this so it can be taken as a combination of two spheres so this is one sphere that is the reason in case of the thin lenses the line which passes through the center of this this can be taken as the origin for this and from here if you are measuring the center this is going to be the center of curvature for the first lens that is the reason we are calling this as f1 focus 1 and this is 2f1 and in our notation we are going to look at this only so this is the first lens and this is the second lens similarly when you are looking at this so if you extend this it's a combination i'm just treating this as a combination of two different curvatures so when you look at this i can get from here to here this is going to be the center of curvature of first lens this is center of curvature of second lens and here this is going to be 2f2 i call and this i will be calling as 2f sorry it's f2 that's all so focus so the same phenomena is valid even here that is the radius of curvature this is nothing but the radius of curvature this is r2 and here it is going to be r1 this is going to be r1 so here we are going to look at the parameters like this in case of the double convex lens now whenever the object the ray falls on the first lens then the second lens gives rise to its image and how it takes place that is what we are to look at now so the very first case we look at when object is at infinity when object is at infinity what is the ray diagram the ray diagram we look at now so here when the object is at infinity so see here we'll write all the cases first we'll just think of just similar to the case where you have seen in case of the mirrors so this is called as the principal axis 
which passes through the center perpendicular to the surface. So, this is the principal axis. So, this is the origin at pole you were saying in, in the earlier case and let us suppose this is 2 F1 and this is F1 and now if at all the ray is falling from infinity. So, the ray is falling from infinity. Object is at infinity, the parallel beam of light will be falling and uh, these are all converged at a point called at a point called focus. So, image is formed at the focus. So, object is at infinity, object is at infinity, image is at, image is at focus and uh, diminished and a real image you are getting inverted these are the properties inverted and magnification is going to be very very less than 1 and is negative for all real images the magnifications are going to be negative so this is the very first case what we can see in case of the object placed at infinity how the ray diagram is going to be how the image is formed so this is the case of see here one point you need to remember in case of the mirrors the image formation to the maximum extent towards the same side but here the image formation is towards the other side so first surface incidence the other side the image formation so these are the properties associated with the first case of incidence so whenever a parallel beam of light falls on the lens then the image is formed at the focus.